days come for this little MR2, we are tuning. This is a, a full-on rebuild of the tune. This thing did not want to drive well at all. A uh, customer was complaining of just drivability issues, all kinds of strange anomalies. Um, and it's a really nice car. I'm really, I love MR2s. So we're gonna take this for a spin. I'm gonna show you what I've done. I've been working on it all day, uh, but it's, it's running good. It's on an AEM, so not my favorite ECU, but it's still something to work with, which I do plenty of, so it's not a problem. Um, but running like 15, 16 pounds of boost. It's got a nice turbo on it. Maybe we would turn it up a little bit. I don't know, let's see. I don't think the owner's looking for a ton of power. He just got the car, so he just wants to enjoy it. And that's what I set out to do. We'll get this drivability dialed in and uh, we'll take it for a couple of little rips so you can see what we're working with. All right. Got a little exhaust leak. We'll have to take care of that. I can hear it. But nothing that's going to stop us from doing what we're doing. So as you can see, we got the AEM loaded up. Uh, this is typically how you're going to find me all day long, cruising around these cars, getting the drivability dialed in. And then uh, every once in a while, we'll throw them on the dyno to get a power number. Um, this guy's not really shooting for any big power numbers or any kind of specific dyno number, so we're not worried about that so much. This is really just cruising, nice drivability, and just make the car do what it's able to do best. That's put a smile on your face. bit of chunkiness down low probably hard to hear on the camera but a little bit rich in the uh, transient throttle but we're getting there it's a pretty nice little setup I'm pretty happy with it let's keep on dialing bushings so I'm not gonna be rough on it shifting that's why I'm taking a eon to shift between gears but uh, otherwise running really good pretty happy with this setup and I think he's gonna be pretty happy with it as well again not shooting for a lot of power but we want to at least make her run as good as she can and I think we're right about there all right so to address some of the aerodynamic issues I'm building a wing. I went and bought sheets of Lexan and took a cereal box, cut out some templates to the sizes that I think everything, all the pieces need to be, cut them out of Lexan, and now I am attaching them. So bear with me. We'll see how this turns out, but I think it's going to be pretty good. Should be able to. Uh, should be able to really increase the downforce and keep this thing on the ground, um, hoping. So that's that's the gist of it. I already cut out the back, so this is going to be pure airflow coming out here. I got some little stainless hardware that I'm using to attach it to the body. Uh, so let's see how she looks after I get this thing assembled. I think it'll look pretty good. All right. So I got this wing worked out. My little homemade job. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna give it a try. We'll see, it really does push down pretty well. It's pretty sturdy. Actually, the body's kind of flimsy. I wish I had some wider body mounts, but other than that, I think it's gonna do well. Cause it's not gonna be too, too much force, but it's gonna be enough to hold this back. And you can see it really does really does work leverage wise so as long as the air hits it good which it should that's going to give us more traction it's going to keep us planted on the big end for sure so there you go homemade wing <clears throat> now we just got to get out there and try it let me know what you guys think i put the stickers on it just so that um 
you can see it because sometimes these corners are kind of sharp. And we don't want that. There, fixed. I rounded them off. I won't poke my eye out now. Which I am liable to do. So under the body, I wanted to show you guys another modification that I made. If you haven't noticed it yet, I'll show you. A little bigger on the wires. So this speed controller came with 12 gauge um, wires for battery and motor. 12 gauge for the motor, no problem. 12 gauge for the battery, I don't know. I don't know. I think that if we're talking 110, 120 amps, something like that, I really don't think that that 12 gauge is enough, especially any connectors that are associated with it. We were using, you know, just the uh, big bullets. Here's, they're, they're fine, I think. But um, I put an EC5 connector in here because I've got a battery coming. Should be here in a little bit. I'll show you guys that. But this speed controller should be able to, to put out a lot more than that 12 gauge wire was able to withstand. Um, and, and when I say withstand, I don't mean like continuously for a long period of time. I mean for short bursts, um, you're gonna see voltage sag with a with a smaller wire. So with these big, this is 10 gauge, we went from 12 to 10 here, so this is 12 gauge now, wired directly in. We should see a lot less resistance, and um, for, for a big power dump, that's necessary. So we'll see, we'll check the data logs. We're gonna make some passes today with the wing. I should be able to put down a little more power up top, which I'm hoping uh, we'll, we'll net some, some faster speeds. So uh, big wire, batteries on the way, should be here any minute. I'll show you guys that when it gets here. So I decided to just make a little front splitter as well. So this should act as a little bit of downforce in the front. We'll see how it does. It's pretty close. So hopefully it doesn't grab. And then when the car launches, it's gonna come up a little bit. So it should stay somewhat in that area right there. We'll see how it works. And if it doesn't work, I'll just take it off. No big deal, a few little screws. But either way, between this and that rear wing, I'm hoping that this entire aero package comes to life. And instead of it being so floaty of the top, it should be more planted and I can put down more power. So we'll see. Next step is to get that other battery in here and take it to the strip. All right, so we're out at another one of my test spots. And it's hard to find these concrete slabs, but uh, this is a good one. I used to come to this one a long time ago. I've got my GoPro ready to do some test hits. Um, well, let's see how this wing works, the wing and the splitter. I'm really, uh, I'm curious to see. I'm gonna try and do an all out pass on the first go. We'll see, I'll, uh, hopefully it hooks up nice and just keeps on trucking. We got plenty of shutdown room, plenty of space here, no excuses. Uh, and I'm on a fresh battery. FedEx did me wrong and uh, they did not deliver my battery today. They had the big boy battery. Well, the next battery, I should say. Um, they didn't deliver it today. I don't know, it said, late something I don't know pisses me off anyway we will use this battery for now see you know, old tried and true it's a graphene turnigy and uh, hopefully it does this right let's see I want to see over 60 obviously and I want to see I want to see a 2-3 maybe even a 2-2 two, 2-3 two. Two, would be like we're going in the right direction so let's see how it goes
Wow. Well, she stayed straight. Pretty sweet. That was no TSM at all, so that was pure, pure straightness. Let's see what that gets us. <clears throat> Two five sixty six miles an hour. Check that speed out, guys. So it was spinning the whole way, but sixty six. That's some. Good mile an hour. Now over 65. We have not been able to get that before. Um, these G's are wrong. Acceleration G's are wrong. Uh, I, I should have brought my DTS out and set it up. I usually like to do that at this spot, but I didn't do it tonight because we are testing. And that wing is working. So everything worked. The aero package is working. I held on to it well out past 132 feet, but uh, we were at 66 at 132 feet. So I'm gonna let it cool off for a minute. We'll do another big burnout and then we'll we'll try to best that up. I'm gonna probably try and ramp in some more power. Uh, that's a good sign. You can see it ramping up here. Whoop. So that's turbo kicking in. I'm gonna try and bring that in a little bit earlier. Fantastic. Are we doing some tuning guys? You wanna see how hard I'm hitting this freaking thing? I will show you how hard I'm hitting this freaking thing. These batteries stand no chance. Look at that sag. 6.3 volts. That is right at the cusp of destruction. Um, I need a better battery. So we'll see how this goes. I'll make one more hit with this battery and that's it. Because I don't want to blow it up. But it's probably going to puff on me. I'm hitting it hard. But you guys already knew that. 66 miles an hour GPS. Not bad. That would trap a little bit better in a, on, a, on a timing system. And uh, the ET would have probably been like a 2.3. But the top end, that's getting it. No prep, no sauce, just dry tire. You can see it. There's nothing on these tires. I just do a little burnout. Not even much. Just enough. They don't even, they don't get that hot. Just a little burnout and then send her down. So let's try it again. Let's see if we got lucky that first run because the wing seemed to be working perfect. All right, run number two. It's probably gonna be it. I got another battery I can try, but these batteries do not wanna stay with it after more than one run. Two, three, 63. Hell yeah. Two, three. So that is a little bit stronger. 63, down a little on our battery. But uh, we are definitely cooking with gas now. So, awesome. I'm excited about that. New battery is going to get us down in the two twos for sure. So the aero package is working great. I'm really excited about that. It's doing everything I was hoping for it to do. It stayed straight, stayed on the ground, and I was able to lay into it wide open at the top. So two three at 63, guys. It's a barely a two three, but I'll take it. Gains are gains. Here's your something little something else I put together. This is a real bastard. So we've got a team associated TC3 with Traxxas Valenian powertrain and an HPI 
radio. So, <laughs> a real bastard. But uh, let's go try it out and see how it does. I just put it together. Real weak gearing, but uh, just something to play around with in the parking lot. Because the drag racing ends in seconds. So, let's see how she does. Old school, but, but with a new heart. The alignment's way off. That's cool. Okay, so that looks straight. We might have to do some work with this one. Oh yeah. Cool. I'm gonna kill these foam tires really fast. I'll have to get something else. Huh. Look at the black marks it left. Bring it back. Nice stripes right there, huh? Cool. Well, it moves out. Not too shabby. Ready? Probably about 40 miles an hour. We'll have to gear it up a little bit for more speed, but still fun. Yeah, it's a zero heat. <laughs> this thing's awesome. Anyway, we'll throw one of the bodies on this thing and make a little parking lot racer out of it. It's got life yet. Oh, it's got reverse too. Oh man, it hauls ass in reverse. <laughs> Into a curb. Hey, it didn't break though. That's always good. Strong little bugger. Man, it just goes, goes over a pebble and jumps in the air. That low life. <laughs> 